So if you were to ask me what is one of our favorite savory breakfasts, it's called savory steel cut oats. Um, and so I'm going to show you how easy this is. So all you have to do, so we took steel cut oats, we added some cumin smoked paprika, cooked those on the stove. So we also roasted mushrooms and red onions. Now this is the winter fall version. Our summer version includes roasting cherry tomatoes in the summer when they're nice and juicy. So what you're going to do is then you've got a bowl of your steel cut oats. You're going to add some vegetables. You're going to add a poached egg and then it wouldn't be complete without sriracha. And okay. I know some of you will love this. Some of you, not so much. So you're going to have a runny egg and it is absolutely fabulous. But the, when I tell people they have to make this recipe, they think I am crazy. But I, we absolutely love it. We crave it. And Scott says, if we ever open a bed and breakfast, this is going to be on the menu. <laughs> so you now know our routine on Sunday when we get home from church is it's clean out the fridge. So we just got everything out. We had the Greek inspired fries <laughs> left over. We had our Lydia sauce. Um, and then we threw together just a salad with, so we had some radishes, we had a tomato. Um, so it was just also a conglomeration of what we had left. And so tonight, our inspiration for dinner was our tzatziki sauce that we had a couple of nights ago with the Mediterranean veggie burger bowl. And so one of the things that we love to do with tzatziki sauce is make our Middle Eastern nachos. And the reason we love these is because they come together super fast. So all we did was took some pitas and we cut them in little triangles and toasted them in the oven with this magical ingredient, za'atar, which is a Middle Eastern seasoning. It is crazy good. So we buy it locally from um, the spice merchant, but you can find it at the grocery store. It's pretty easy to find. So we seasoned the pitas with za'atar, um, just about 10 minutes in the oven for them. And then we put together a salad topping. And while we had the oven on, um, also roasted some veggies. And of course, threw together a salad just with some oranges, cranberries, red onion, pecans. Um, and so once you get your pitas toasted, we put together this salad topping that has chickpeas, red onions, um, tomatoes, cucumbers, and artichoke hearts. We were missing roasted red peppers. That's all right. We're kind of winging it. And then, so you, what you do to assemble it and serve it is you just toast the toasted pitas, you put the salad topping on top, and then you kind of put some tzatziki sauce on it, and you'll spread that around, and you can even put some fresh herbs, or we're going to use our microgreens we got from the farmer's market, and we will probably toss in some of our favorite Trader Joe's chili oil with our roasted veggies, but it was 73 degrees here today. For those of you not in Wichita, we had very spring-like weather. So we're going to sit on the patio tonight to eat dinner, and I'm very excited about that. But um, don't be too jealous. It's going to be winter, supposedly, by the end of the week. So hope you all had a great weekend, and we will see you tomorrow.